The new compact six-cylinder boxer engine now featuring a 3.8-liter displacement is lightweight and has twin turbocharger units. It produces 368 kilowatts, 500 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. The maximum torque is 650 newton meters between 1,950 and 5,000 RPM. Despite this increase in performance, fuel consumption has been reduced by up to 16% and CO2 emissions have been lowered by up to 18%. The performance figures. The new 911 Turbo with a standard six-speed manual gearbox accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The top speed is 312 kilometers per hour, 194 miles per hour. The Sprint takes just 3.4 seconds if the optional Sport Chrono Package Turbo with dynamic engine mount system is combined with a 7-speed Porsche Doppelkupplung BDK, now available on the 911 Turbo models for the first time. Essentially, power and torque are increased while fuel consumption and emissions are reduced. This has primarily been achieved thanks to new direct fuel injection, DFI, and VarioCam Plus. In contrast to standard fuel injection, with DFI, air-fuel mixture formation takes place directly within the combustion chamber. Here the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber with millisecond precision for each individual cylinder via electromagnetically operated injection valves. This enables homogeneous distribution of the air-fuel mixture and thereby effective combustion, which improves fuel consumption. Porsche is the only manufacturer to deploy variable turbine geometry, VTG, on a production vehicle with a petrol engine. With this technology, the exhaust gas flow from the engine is channeled onto the turbines via electronically adjustable guide vanes. By changing the vane angle, it is possible to change the speed of the exhaust gas flow and the turbine speed. With variable turbine geometry, high revs and high turbocharger performance are achieved at low engine RPM combined with low exhaust gas flow. Cylinder charging is significantly improved with a corresponding increase in boost pressure and torque. Maximum torque is reached at lower RPM and is retained across a wider rev range. The phenomenon known as turbo lag is a thing of the past. PDK is essentially two half gearboxes in one and thus requires two clutches. Porsche Doppelkupplung alternately connects the two half gearboxes with the engine via two separate drive shafts, depending on the selected gear. The principle behind this is overlapping transmission. When a particular gear is engaged, the next gear is already being pre-selected in the other half gearbox. One clutch opens within a few milliseconds while the other clutch closes, resulting in an extremely fast and barely perceptible gear change without losing traction. In total, PDK offers seven forward gears. Maximum speed is reached in sixth gear, while the seventh gear, for optimized performance, further reduces fuel consumption. There is a convenient automatic mode or a manual gear shift via sliding buttons on the new three-spoke sport steering wheel. The optional Sport Chrono Package Turbo with dynamic engine mount system and overboost is more proof that Porsche can take the performance principle further.
Press the sport button, and the chassis, engine, and optional PDK change to a much sportier setting. Under full acceleration, the overboost function provides a temporary increase in available torque of up to 50 newton meters, raising the torque to as much as 700 newton meters. Now included in the Sport Chrono Package Turbo for the first time is the Dynamic Engine Mount System. This electronically controlled system changes the stiffness of the engine mounts. When driving into a bend, the vehicle will follow your steering, but at first, the mass of the engine won't. This means that the rear of the vehicle is pushed outwards because of the inert forces from the engine's mass acting on it. The new dynamic engine mount system minimizes this effect. This is achieved using a magnetizable fluid and an electrically generated magnetic field. This alters the stiffness and absorption of the engine mounts. Softer for greater comfort and less vibration when driving normally. Harder for a more direct driving feel when driving more sportily. The dynamic engine mount system also reduces the vertical oscillations of the engine when accelerating under full load. The result is increased traction with more stability under load transfer and during high-speed cornering. At Porsche, performance doesn't stop with the engine and transmission. What use is awesome power if it's just smoke and noise? No use at all. Which is why the further enhanced Porsche Traction Management PTM Active All-Wheel Drive delivers the necessary traction. The electromagnetically operated multi-disc clutch in PTM actively manages the power distribution to the front axle. By continually monitoring driving conditions, PTM will optimize the distribution of power in any situation for excellent traction, particularly on tight bends and in the wet or snow. The new 911 turbo models get an active boost in terms of dynamics and stability courtesy of Porsche Torque Vectoring, PTV which is now available as an option for the first time. This system offers variable torque distribution to the rear wheels and a mechanical limited slip differential. A rear differential lock improves traction during wheel spin and on fast bends it reduces the response time to load shifts. At high speeds it boosts stability. When light braking is also initiated on the inside rear wheel, PTV provides increased agility when driving into a bend and greater lateral acceleration while cornering. How does this work? When driving in a more sporty way, the rear wheel on the inside of the bend is slowed down slightly. This sends more drive force to the rear wheel on the outside, increasing the torque in the direction you are turning. This results in sportier cornering. The benefits are greater agility and precision at low and mid speeds and improved stability at high speed. The effect is apparent on different road surfaces as well as in the wet and snow. Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, fitted as standard, ensures adequate contact with the road. This is an electronic damping control system featuring two programs, normal and sport. It offers continuous adjustment of each wheel's individual damping forces based on driving style and current road conditions. Proven features have been retained, 
but not at the expense of moving forward. This principle is clearly reflected in the design of the new 911 Turbo. The side air intakes at the front now have titanium-colored painted slats. New LED daytime running lights are positioned low down and to the sides. The bar-shaped indicators also feature LED technology for high intensity and a distinctive look even at night. The simple twin-spoke design of the 911 Turbo 2 wheels is particularly attractive. Parts of the spokes and rim are glossy. The forging technology used permits low weight coupled with high rigidity. As an option, you can choose alloy wheels in the RS Spider design with a central locking device derived from motorsport. The rear end has new LED taillights, which extend outwards to the wings and are tapered. Nothing has changed when it comes to the aerodynamic balance, which is characteristic of the 911 Turbo. The biplane spoiler deploys at 120 kilometers per hour, 75 miles per hour, and retracts at approximately 60 kilometers per hour, just over 37 miles per hour. The 911 Turbo models have lost something, weight. The 911 Turbo is now 15 kilograms lighter, while the 911 Turbo Cambriolet weighs in at 10 kilograms less. The performance principle also translates to the interior, which features leather trim as standard. Efficient ergonomics are the key factor. The new three-spoke sport steering wheel can be adjusted by up to 40 millimeters both axially and vertically. As options, a three-spoke multifunction steering wheel, a heated steering wheel, and in conjunction with optional PDK, a sport steering wheel with gear shift paddles are available. Porsche Communication Management, PCM. Featuring a navigation module with an integrated hard drive comes as standard. It is easy to operate using the 6.5-inch touchscreen or optional voice control system for conveniently inputting destinations, for example. There is an optional telephone module and integrated 6-disc CD-DVD auto changer, as well as a universal audio interface for connecting an iPod other MP3 player, or a USB stick. The standard Bose surround sound system, featuring a total of 13 speakers in the coupe version and 12 in the cabriolet, delivers a total output of 385 watts, playing music from audio and video DVDs in digital 5.1 surround sound. What exactly have we added to the new 911 Turbo S models? An additional 30 horsepower and 50 newton meters more torque to be precise. Achieved through the tuning of the efficient 3.8 liter six cylinder boxer engine with direct fuel injection, DFI, VarioCam Plus, expansion intake system and variable turbine geometry, VTG. Generating 390 kilowatts or 530 horsepower between 6,250 and 6,750 RPM and a maximum torque of 700 newton meters between 2,100 and 4,250 RPM. However, fuel consumption and CO2 emissions are no higher than those of the 911 Turbo. A visible sign of the extra power in the engine space is the carbon air filter housing featuring a Turbo S badge. The top speed is now 315 kilometers per hour, 196 miles per hour. Acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers per hour or zero to 62 miles per hour takes 3.3 seconds. 
In addition to the increased power and active all-wheel drive, Porsche Traction Management PTM, these performance figures are achieved using the 7-speed Porsche Doppelkupplung PDK, which is standard in the 911 Turbo S models. As is the three-spoke sport steering wheel with gear shift paddles. The Sport Plus button on the center console is fitted as standard. It activates launch control for the best possible acceleration from a standing start and the motorsport-derived gear shift strategy for racing-style gear changes with PDK. Also standard are the dynamic engine mounts, an electronically regulated system to control the stiffness of the engine mounts. This makes driving more comfortable and, above all, more dynamic. The dynamic engine mounts reduce the vertical oscillations of the engine, for example, when accelerating from a standstill under full load. The result, more traction and improved acceleration. In the new 911 Turbo S models, Porsche Torque Vectoring, PTV, including a mechanically locking rear differential, is standard. When driving dynamically, the wheel on the inside of the bend breaks slightly as the steering is engaged. This gives the wheel on the outside of the bend more propulsion force, enabling increased angular momentum in the desired direction of travel. The advantages are increased agility and more dynamic steering behavior at low and medium speeds and greater stability at high speeds, in combination with a rear differential lock. The forged aluminum 19-inch RS Spider wheels have a center locking system based on that used in race cars for fewer rotating masses and a more responsive drive. Welcome to Porsche Experience TV. My name's Gordon Robertson, Chief Driving Consultant here at the Porsche Experience Center at Silverstone. Today, we're featuring the brand new 911 Turbo. As an all-round performer, this car genuinely sets a new benchmark. Generation 2 Porsche 911 Turbo. 500 horsepower and 700 Newton meters of torque. The main changes to this car are underneath the skin. From an engine perspective, the car now features VTG variable turbine geometry. The car actively changes the geometry of the veins in the turbo, giving us all the benefits of a large and a small turbo, thus minimizing turbo lag. We've also introduced DFI to this engine, direct fuel injection, which as well as maximizing performance, improves the efficiency of the engine. For example, fuel consumption is reduced by 16% and CO2 emissions reduced by 18%. So the engineers have worked exceptionally hard to maximize performance and efficiency. A major part of this car's performance is its sheer straight line acceleration. It sprints from 0 to 62 in 3.4 seconds. In a production car, simply breathtaking. I'm going to carry out a 0 to 60 to 0 test here using Sport Chrono Package Turbo. A major component of that is launch control. I'm now going to activate Sport Plus, which gives me launch control, and we're going to try and prove Porsche's benchmark that all their cars can decelerate from 60 to 0 in less than half the time it takes to accelerate from 0 to 60. So with my left foot firmly on the brake, I now accelerate to activate launch control. Lots of power and torque is fine, but we need to be able to get that power and torque onto the road. The 911 Turbo uses Porsche traction management and Porsche stability management to ensure maximum grip, traction, thus acceleration. Using launch control, I'm now going to accelerate from 0 to 100 to demonstrate the relentless acceleration. The 
detail of a low friction surface. We drive on an epoxy resin with the equivalent grip level of sheet ice. Today we're using that to explore the changes and evolution in the four wheel drive system in the 911 Turbo. Looking at the 993 Turbo, we can see as the car sets off in slow motion, we can see it immediately spinning up its rear wheels. The car has a viscous coupling, so as the rear wheels spin up, that heats up fluid in the coupling, thus sending power to the front axle. So although we can see the car remains in full control, there is a delay in the management of the four-wheel drive system. Looking at the Generation 2 911 Turbo, doing the same exercise in slow motion, we can see the complete contrast instantly. This car has PTM, Porsche Traction Management, which proactively sends power to the front axle. This particular car also has the optional PTV system, Porsche Torque Vectoring, which will distribute torque to each of the rear wheels as required and control the mechanical limited slip differential. The system selectively sends brake pressure to each of the rear wheels as required, meaning that even on sheet ice, the car accelerates with absolute ease. Technology that maximises performance without impeding safety. Let me show you what I mean on our low friction hand lesson. Character, the 911 Turbo remains unchanged. However, the technology in the latest generation car takes the driving experience to a new level. For your opportunity to drive here at the Porsche Experience Centre, please log on to porsche.co.uk forward slash experience. Thanks for watching.